To better understand the relationship between exponents and logarithms, it is important to know how to convert between the two forms. An equation exponential form has three parts, a base, raised to an exponent, and the number that it equals. It's important to note that the base in the example is positive and not equal to one. These three same numbers appear in logarithmic form of the same equation. We have log or log or logarithm with base b of the number n is equal to the exponent. The exponential form and the logarithmic form are equivalent equations. One reason to convert to an equation in logarithm form is to solve for the exponent. Let's look at some examples. In exponential form, we have 5 cubed equals 125. In logarithm form, we have log base 5 of 125 equals 3. 3 to the negative 2 equals 1 ninth, which is equivalent to log base of 3 of 1 ninth equals negative 2. 7 to the 0 power equals 1, which is equivalent to the log base 7 of 1 equals 0. Finally, the exponential equation 36 to the 1 half power equals 6 and is equivalent to the logarithmic equation log base 36 of 6 equals 1 half. Now, let's see how converting can help us solve an equation in logarithmic form. Log base 6 of some number n equals 4. Note that the number inside the logarithm needs to be solved for. So we can change the equation from logarithmic form to exponential form. Doing so, we have 6 to the 4th power equals n. Entering this into the calculator, we get n equals 1,296. Knowing when and how to switch between these forms will help when solving exponential and logarithmic equations.